Hey everybody, Armageddon time. Uh, you know, might have noticed that my thingy was getting full, so to speak. Hardy har har har. I just lost all the footage after that. So, unfortunately, I beat the game. Like, I, I just wasn't aware that uh, the recording had stopped inevitably. So, I, I, I beat the game. Clearly, it's not very long. As you can see, these are all the levels I have. But the rest of the game is honestly not that interesting. Like, the palace, you, you saw the palace. And then from there, we go to Italy. And in Italy, it's pretty much the same deal. I'm only going to show you the interesting parts. Just because, fuck, like, it, it honestly is just a tedium and boredom from this point on. So I'm only going to show you the different kind of levels. For example, the canal chase. What do we got happening here? Dr. Crony is getting away, Barbie. Use the high-tech water jet to follow him and collect the files he dropped. Yeah, so he pretty much, this, it, it's like the same concept as the car. We're following this old fogey dude because I guess he has some magical jewels that he's gonna like try to take all the jewel like we're trying to get back the jewels essentially and uh, you know we're gonna freaking kick him in the family jewels because that's how Barbie rolls or I mean jet skis sorry it's kind of kick-ass that she just has like, this jet ski that just so happens to be very color coordinated to uh you know, her her surroundings, her settings, her fucking whatever. Anyway, as you can see, I'd already collected all the discs, so all we have to do is just catch up to him and we beat the level. I know, not very not very shocking in any way. What do we got here? We think Dr. Kearney might be in the fashion district. Oh, how appropriate. Use the robot spy puppy, puppy to distract his guards so you can get across the town. So I'll show you a little bit of the level. The music is a little nicer. And we also have these bombs with the ridiculous amount of gas in them. Like, look at all that gas. Like, it just goes on for days. Just like Barbie's legs, am I right? So yeah, essentially, same thing. And as you can see, these dudes, like, they, they mean serious business now. They're just, they're following us everywhere. When they think something is up, they don't, they don't stop, you know? But as you can see, we can just easily walk around and it's honestly like no trouble oh wait uh w one of the uh, collectibles i actually uh, collected for i guess beating the last level with all of the uh discs is super camouflage so as you can see i can just be stared at i can be ogled by these uh agent smiths and my my cover is not being blown at all unlike these agents who will never be blown because they are fighting for the wrong team. They are fighting for the bad guys. So there we go. Pretty boring levels. Let's just get to the fun stuff. Quit the mission. Yes, quitting the mission. Oh, no. So Italy, yeah, we, we have the same deal in the fashion district. And then scuba search. We got to find these fucking jewels. The entrance to Dr. Crony's lab is underwater. Put on your special scuba gear and find the entrance. Watch out for the security robots. Look out for them security robots. So yeah, A and B don't do dick. L and R don't do dick. Really, it's just, uh, it's like we're playing The Little Mermaid for the Sega Genesis. And uh, yeah, pretty much it. It's, it's, uh, it's very, it's uh, not very much like uh, that waters, the, the, the dam section in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles by Konami for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh shit, look out for the Predator drones. Yeah, we, we pretty much just have to get to the end. Which I will do. Oh no, we were found out a little bit, but not really because I have the super protectiveness on. So really I can just kind of zoom through these levels with very little to worry about. Well, it's actually not even very little, with absolutely nothing to worry about, other than, you know, reaching uh, boredom critical mass. I don't know, I don't know, if you take a look at me, uh, I'm pretty much, I've already reached critical mass as it is. As in mass hugeness. Oh, you know, I'm not really that big, but, you know, I mean, I, I, I could I could use, you know, I could, I could lose a few pounds, you know, if I really put my mind to. Why am I even talking about this? We are Barbie, and we have, like, unlimited scuba power, I guess. Like, even without the the, the magical uh, suit of non-detection. Like, do we just have an infinite amount of, you know, uh, breathing apparatus available to us? Yeah, I guess so. 
And what up with like these, what are these, like stained glass windows underneath? And it's just a weird thing. All right, so Barbie finds the missing jewels. There is one gem missing from each royal jewel. How strange. What would Camille want with just one gem from each jewel? Barbie, the jewels all contain a rare gem. Each gem is the only one of its kind in the world. If combined, they would create a hypnotizing light. Imagine if they fell into the wrong hands. Yep. That's the story of this game. Camille is trying... To, her, her main thing wasn't just to collect the jewels because they're awesome jewels. It's to find these rare jewels so that she can create some hypnotizing light and rule the world. So yeah, you go to Mexico. Uh, I'll, ch I'll let you check out a level. I will, I'll let you know. I'll come along with me, I should say. Barbie, we need to stop Camille and Dr. Crony before they take the, make the hypnotizing gems. Try to reach the, make them. They, they already kind of exist. It's just a matter of, I don't know, like sticking them together, maybe with super glue or you know, some kind of uh, scrapbooking equipment. Try to reach the other side of the city and find them. I'll try, I guess. This one, the music is, I'd say even slightly better than the, uh, than the Italy level, but still kind of, uh, like see, but it's still kind of crackly and annoying. Oh no, I'm totally not caught. Caught in a web of lies, Asian Smiths. So yeah, it's, it's kind of, it's pretty much, you know, cut and paste, which I guess is how this game is really honestly made, how it's supposed to be. And, uh, Oh yeah, we gotta solve these weird puzzles. Check this out. Now we get to play uh, Picross. Yep, we play Picross in order to gain access. Fucking weird, man. But you know what? Whatever. I mean, at least it's something different. I don't mind Picross. I mean, I I, th I think that's what the game is called. If it isn't, then I apologize. It's not too late to apologize, don't worry. Um, who was that, Akon? Or, uh, Talib Kweli? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just trying to make it in a world that doesn't understand. So, I don't know. We go up here and, uh, more of the same. What's up, Agent? I think I can just beat the level now? Can I do that? No. Collect more discs. I think we actually go down here and we beat the level. Come on, get off my dick. There we go. Barbie over here is Camille. The device is inside the Aztec Pyramid. Soon we can hypnotize anyone. No one with a dash in the middle. Of it. Is that how you use it? Uh, can stop us. Uh, you did it. Yeah, I did it, all right. Barbie, this Aztec Pyramid has been updated with the latest security robots. Good luck. Nope, not doing that level. That level was just kind of annoying. It felt a little long in the tooth. So then there's the high-tech hideaway, which is, I don't know, it, it kind of feel, it reminds me of that level in GoldenEye, like GoldenEye 007 on the N64, when you gotta, I don't know, you, you go like into this underground lab, like a tech laboratory, and you gotta like take pictures of a screen and kill people and not get caught. So let's just go to the courtyard chase. Stop, Camille! Your evil plan is over. Yeah, horses, horses and Barbie go together like fucking peanut butter and jam. It's, I don't know why, but whatever. Barbie, use one of the horses to chase Camille. Don't let her escape with the gems. So yeah, just a nice, slow chase. <laughs> slow gallop to the finish. So really, I just have to like, wait a certain period of time. Because as you can see, I'm creeping closer and closer, but I can also go backwards. Backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. So really, I just kind of have to wait a matter of time until the game thinks I'm close enough to reach her and then just kind of bum rush so to speak like so well maybe not yet but I guess I don't even need to collect these uh, discs I've already collected them and that's how I got the uh, the I don't know indetectable suit it's like the it's like I'm invisible girl except you know Barbie looks nothing like Jessica Alba and probably has better acting skills hey oh am I right Camille and Dr. Crony will both be going to jail for a long, long time. Look at freaking mustache man cop who is totally creeping on Camille. Like, you're, you know, everybody's got a, you know, get everybody's got a bubble man. Bubble man. And, uh, 
you know, you're, you're kind of popping Camille's as we speak. Like, I know she's under arrest for trying to hypnotize the world, but she honestly could have, like, taken the jewels and created, like, a death ray or something to completely obliterate the world. But no, she just wanted to control people's minds, which, like, the government already does, am I right? Am I right? No. Not really. And look at that, look at that, just the smug, smug fuck you satisfaction that Barbie has on her face. Like, I, I, like, I did it. It was all me. Nobody else helped me. I had all these devices that I came up with myself. And, you know, like, you know, fuck the meal. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Barbie, thanks to you, all the royal jewels have been returned. Great job. I am putting through a call to you. Um, all right. Thank you, your majesty. Why, the queen herself even thanked me. How awesome. Uh, hopefully it wasn't some just some cheap impersonation, which could have easily been the case. I'm glad we could help. Yes, you're right. We do make a great team. You did jack shit and are taking all the credit because you put me on the job. What a piece of work. And yeah, that's kind of the end of the game. Sorry that I didn't. you didn't get to see all the levels, but honestly, did you really want to? I gave you just a little sampling of what you might have missed out on, but really, I was frustrated enough playing through this game once Having to, go, having to find out that I missed out on all that uh, wonderful commentary. But at least you got to see me, you know, kind of goof off in the first couple of levels, completely inebriated out of my tree. But I am finally back. I'm sorry about the several months wait. Um, I'm going to post all this up at once. Well, technically it's already been posted. And then I'm going to get back to the two games I was playing previously and start right back where I, you know, left them. VVV, VVV, and Charles Barkley Shut Up and Jam Gaiden, the RPG. It's a weird game, and I can't wait to actually get into it and, you know, get into the meat of it. So I'm Armageddon time. I'm back. Sorry, everybody. Um, maybe I'll do, like, a separate video addressing all the people who have left comments and concerns and all the people who have subscribed. But until then, it's Armageddon time. See you guys next time.